Jonathan, wait here, and I'll go check us in. Okay, Mom. Because as we both know, my favorite things are crowds and strangers, he said sarcastically. Pardon me. Hey, mind if we sit here? Oops, sorry. Didn't see you there. Coming through. I've got to get out of here. Phew. Finally, I can breathe. Ooh, it smells nice in here. Right? I love that pine fresh cleaner they use. Makes me feel like I'm in the mountains. Ah! Who's there? Axon! Abacus! What are you guys doing here? Well, we saw that you seemed a bit overwhelmed. So we came down to help. Plus, I really do love the smell in here. Don't you, Abacus? This unit is unable to smell. Ah, uh, your loss. It's fantastic. Overwhelmed is putting it nicely. I'm completely freaking out. I've got to have a little procedure, which I'm already nervous enough about without tons of strangers all around me. I know. Hospitals are busy places. But you will have your own healthcare team to support and look after you while you're here. Each member of the team has a different job that helps you and your family. Here, put this jetpack on and we'll go meet them. Err, uh, Axon? Isn't that jetpack a little, well, small? Oh, right. Forgot to mention the whole, we're going to shrink ourselves so we don't disturb anyone part. I always forget that part. How do you forget the part where we shrink? Because it's just a tiny thing, really. Huh. <laughs> Get it? Tiny? I'm kind of known as the funny Medi kid. Analyzing statement. Statement is false. No one asked you, Abacus. Come on. The first people I want you to meet are the nurses. Nurses are awesome. And if you stay in the hospital, you will get to know your nurses very well. Your nurse is there to look after you all day, and another nurse will take over and look after you all night. They will give you your medicines, take blood samples, and check to make sure you are doing okay. Okay, Sarah, open wide. So Sarah, how are you feeling today? Better, though I'd be feeling much better if I had some ice cream. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Another thing that's great about nurses is you can always tell them if you're feeling worried and ask them any questions about what's going on. Cool. That makes me feel a lot better. Note, a nurse is always available. If you need one, just press a button and they will come. Hey, Sarah, time to get washed up. Who is that? Another nurse? No, that's a patient care assistant, also known as a medical or clinical assistant. They work really closely with nurses. They're super nice and help you get dressed, wash up, or go to the bathroom if you need help. Next up, the big one we all know, doctors. Doctors make decisions about what kind of treatment you'll need. So, where does it itch? Everywhere. Places I didn't know could itch, itch. Doctors will ask you lots of questions about how you're feeling. They might also order some tests to find out what's making you sick. Then, they'll make up a treatment plan. The doctors will decide what medicines you might need and how long you should stay in the hospital. You can ask them any questions about your treatment. There are lots of different types of doctors, right? That is correct. Doctors can be experts in different areas of medicine and in treating different parts of the body. Ta-da! A snake. I told you I make the world's best balloon animals. Okay, Jake, I've got more rounds. I'll check on you later. Thanks, Doc. Doctors who take care of children and teens are called pediatricians. Note, some pediatricians may also focus on taking care of a certain part of the body, like the heart or lungs. Hey, Jake, how you feeling today? Okay, I guess. What does this guy do? He's a child life specialist. They help you cope with having an illness. You can talk to them about your feelings. Just okay? I don't know. Some days it's just a lot, and I get sad and scared. Hey, it's totally normal to feel sad, scared, worried, angry, and even confused when you're in the hospital. Child Life Specialists will help you to deal with any stress or anxiety you might have, and may even give you toys to play with. If you're worried about having a particular test or medicine, they will help you to prepare for it. I never turn down toys. That's a social worker. 
They also help you and your family to cope with having an illness. They'll even help you to adjust when you leave the hospital and go back home. Cool! Whenever you have a medical condition, there's lots of new information to learn, and us Medikids can't be everywhere at once. That's where health educators come in. They help you to learn about your medical condition. Note, the more you learn about your medical condition, the easier it is to manage. You're doing great, Kara. Next up on our meet and greet of the healthcare team is a physical therapist, or PT. They help you with movement and are experts in how the bones and muscles work. So why would I need a PT? Well, if you have an injury or have been sick for a long time, you might feel weak and have trouble walking or doing other activities. Physical therapists help you to get stronger. That's great, Matt, just like that. There are also occupational therapists, or OTs. They can help you manage all the daily activities, like eating, washing, exercising, and going to school. Some kids find these things difficult. Occupational therapists help you learn different ways of doing things. They might also give you special equipment to make certain activities easier. Shoo, shoo, flies. I really need to get some bug spray. Next up, I want you to meet the pharmacist. Pharmacists are experts on how medicines work. They'll prepare your medicines so that you get exactly the right amount. Your nurse will give you your medicines when you need them. Just a few more minutes, Mr. Henderson. Last, but not least on our tour, is a radiologic technician. They are experts on x-rays and scans. You'll meet them if you need an x-ray, MRI, or CT scan. You may also meet lots of students who are training to be different members of the healthcare team. And that completes our tour. Come on, back to that really good smelling closet. You're a weird guy, Axon. Super smart, deaf, cool, but weird. Thank you. I will take that as a compliment. A few minutes and a quick de-shrinking later. Now, you met a lot of the healthcare team, but depending on why you're in the hospital and how long you stay, you might meet some other people too. So, how are you feeling now? You know, I was freaking out at first at how many people there were, but now I know all those people are here for me. They're all part of a big team helping to support me and my family. Honestly, I feel better knowing there are so many people that have my back. Glad to hear it. Remember, don't be afraid to ask questions and be sure to tell them how you feel. Well, you better get back to your mom and we better get back home. Good luck, Jonathan. Farewell, human designated Jonathan. Thanks, Betty Kids, for everything. Jonathan, there you are. Are you ready? You know what, Mom? I am. Let's go meet my team.